They say fear haunts you And pain hates I say pain strengthens And fear drives faith And I don't know all of the outcomes Don't know what happens tomorrow Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tuesday, April 17th. It's 7.13 a.m. And I normally don't do my Truth Tuesdays super early in the morning. I usually do them the day before. But I got super busy yesterday, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it before I, while I'm heading to work. I'm late anyway. I got to do better with that. But today I want to say something real quick to you guys. It's something that's on my mind as I prepare for my day, something I've been trying to do. Lately, I've been waking up, and I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I've been waking up every morning having a cup of coffee just trying to prepare my day some things happen at my job and I have a little bit more say so a little bit more power I'm doing multiple um, roles right now within my um, within my job so it's, a, it's making me have a lot more responsibility so I'm having to plan a lot more um, I feel like a lot more weight is on my shoulder so I feel like the, that the start of my day is very important how I start my day the mind frame that I am is very important. As you guys go out, I just kind of want to encourage you to realize that you dictate the way your day is going to um, go. Maybe not some of the things that's going to happen within your day, but you dictate the mood that you're going to be in. Take the time every morning to prepare yourself for your day. If, you, if you're going to wake up every morning and you're going to say, you know what, today I'm going to grind, I'm going to give it 150% every single inch of me. Every part of me, I'm gonna give it to my day. I'm gonna, when I lay that, my head down on my pillow at night, I'm not gonna regret anything. I'm not gonna say, man, I should've did X, Y, Z, or I should've grinded harder, or I should've worked harder, or I should've put my, I should've put forth more effort in doing something. Wake up in the morning and prepare yourself because you never know how Satan is gonna try to deter you from your goal and your objective. Set those goals every morning. Even if it's making a checklist, I, I literally have to make a checklist for everything that I do. But just remember to include Christ. Include some you time. Include some time where you can sit down, you can think about your day, and you realize that God got you. He got you. Don't, don't go through every day just getting overwhelmed and allowing things to consume you and steal your joy. Stop letting Satan steal your joy. Stop allowing people to steal your joy. Give out joy. Give joy. Remember, God got you. He got you. But you got to start with him. And you got to give him an opportunity to have you. No matter if it's school and you got an exam and you got some work you got to do. If it's no, if, no matter if it's work. I don't care what the thing is. What the object is. What, what Satan has in store for you today. I don't care what it is. Remember, God is bigger than all that, man. Like... He can, he, can, he can stop all that stuff, but we got to give it to him. We got to allow him to take those burdens off of us, and that's what we don't do. We think we got it. We got it. We're going to go out there. We're going to get it, but we got to allow God to work in us. As you guys go out today, I encourage you, spend time with him. Even if you're watching this True Tuesday and it's 4 p.m. your day already starts, you still got tomorrow, Lord willing, or you still got the rest of the day. Stop doing what you're doing right now. Spend time with him, get your mind set on him, and go out there and kill it, man. Go out there and kill it. It's your boy, Truth. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, keep knowledge. You know what you wear. There's knowledge in your walk. Look fresh. Be blessed. I'm out. Go out there and get it.